All right, I'm going to do a walk around on my teardrop, or whatever people want to call it. I call it a teardrop. little homemade camper that I built off of a boat trailer frame. I uh, stripped the parts off of an old RV. That's where I got all my windows and lights, parts and pieces. Everything else I just kind of picked up along the way. It's, uh, it's eight foot long. Got a galley in the rear, of course, and it sleeps two people pretty comfortably. I got her fully stocked for the weekend. Got a two night camping trip. Opening weekend of turkey season, so we got big plans. As you can see, I got it all set up ice box. My battery, all my 12 volt systems back here. Got an inverter. All my wiring is behind that panel there in the corner. I got lights back here. Uh, got a 12 volt shower pump that I can activate to take a shower, hot shower. I'll show you that in a little bit. I got everything I might need in here for camping couple of stoves. I do most of my cooking on the fire, but I do have a stove for quick coffee in the morning or something like that. Macaroni and cheese for my son. My galley's covered with a with a 5x5 five five umbrella. It's pretty nice. It, it don't uh, it hangs, so it, there's nothing in the way, nothing for me to trip over back here. I got a I built a roof rack that goes on top here. Made it out of some old metal that I had. It's nice for tree stands or firewood or whatever else I might have. Solar panels. They're small. They don't uh, they don't charge the battery up, but I can go I can go five or six days minimally using my 12 volt power for TV, shower pump, lights, stuff like that. Got a big gas bottle, got the toolbox up here to keep all my all my junk in. And I got a slide out. I haven't seen very many with slide outs on them, so I'll show you what I built here. It's, I initially built this for a wood burning stove that I've got, a small one, and uh, just deemed it too uh, too dangerous to burn in there with my son in there. I didn't want to wake up dead, so I just opted to use it for storage and I'll show you the inside later. But I uh, What I've done, I just looked at the travel trailer that I got parts off of and it had a slide out on it. And uh, I just pretty much made it exactly the same way. I even put a uh, put an awning on top of it to keep water and stuff from just pouring into it. I sealed it up on the sides with the uh, same thing you'd use on a, like a screen door. And it seems to work pretty good. I ain't had any problems with it at all. Underneath here, see it's just a very simple, very simple setup. Got two windows in it for ventilation. Like I say, all my parts come off of an old travel trailer, so I got real lucky. Didn't have to buy nothing. Uh, I got fresh water. It's a, about a four and a half gallon tank here. I just built it out of PVC pipe, six inch PVC pipe. And what I do, I can't hold the camera and get that lid off it. I just fill it up with water when I get to where I'm going. The cap just comes off, it just sits on, sits in place. And uh, I have it plumbed underneath. You can see my, my spigot here. I have it plumbed underneath with a, if I can get it here. Is with the pump out of the uh, out of the mobile home that I that I stripped, and what I do if I want a hot shower, I just fill this up with water, and then I put my my pot which I got over the fire over there. That's my hot water heater. I put it under here, fill it up with water, and then hang it over the fire for about 20 minutes. It warms the water. I pour it back in, and I got four gallons of piping hot water for a shower, for doing dishes. Uh, Whatever I want to do, it's, it works great. Cleaning deer or, or whatever, I got hot water. Anytime, I just keep the I keep the kettle over the fire 
all the time. So whenever I need it, I got it. And I plumbed it to a uh, to a to a spigot here on the outside, and then I just rigged me up a oh yeah. It's just a shower uh, off of a sink, and I made the hose extra long where I can you know I can wash my car with it if I want to, and then I got this shower enclosure that I got off of eBay. Just to stand up in, take a shower in it. That's my porta potty too. I can move it around and put it wherever I want to. I got uh, I got the jacks underneath in the back for stabilization. Walking around here. I'll show you my view for the weekend too. We camp in Blackwater River State Forest, which is where I work, so. This is a river, Blackwater River. So this is what we'll be looking at all weekend long. And we back right up to the river bank. We got plenty of water. We got shade. Sun power. So we're in good shape. I said I do a, a lot of cast iron cooking, so I got all my cast iron hanging. Made me some holders in the back here to hold my pots, to keep them up off the ground in case it does rain. I don't have to worry about everything getting soaking wet. And this, I can close this up at night, and uh, everything's sealed up. I don't have to worry about critters getting into it or anything like that. Got a little shelf there on my fender well. Comes in handy for my water and other things. I don't know how the good this is going to work on the inside, but I'm going to try here. Ain't too bad. It's just zoom in. There's the slide out right there. You can see it's just so use it for storage, putting our clothes in at night. You know, uh, and it just slides in. It doesn't have a mechanism that slides it in and out. I just do it manually by hand. And then that eye bolt at the bottom there, I hook it into a to an eye bolt on the opposite side to just tighten it down with a turnbuckle just to keep it from sliding out. I ain't never had no problems with it at all. I got juniper siding that I paneling that I made on the inside here. I got TV, DVD player. I got a 12 volt heater that works really good. For my small space, I got a a battery uh, gauge there that tells me, you know, how 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 long my battery's going to last, so I can turn the TV off if I want to, just conserve power at night. We don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, it's nice to have my son's uh, 12 years old, so he likes to have a little TV to watch every now and then. So it makes it nice. Got the gun hanging there. We've always got some firearms of some kind. But everything in here is 12 volt. Got lights and uh, two lights. Like I say window for ventilation. I got my fan. Got everything I need. I just got a foam mattress, four inch foam mattress down here. Just makes it really comfortable. Everything that on here, this on here, I built the door. Uh, I built it off of the out of the door that was on the travel trailer. I just cut it down to the size I wanted, built a new insert, reinstalled the handle, and put that window in it. It didn't initially have the window, so I built all that. The outside is it's skinned with a, the same kind of metal that you'd buy for your house, like tin, but I just got it not crimped. They did not crimp it at the factory. I just bought it in panels, sheet panels. It's a little heavier than aluminum, but not much. It's, it's like 26 gauge, I think. So it's not too bad. Easy to work with, easy to cut, and it's cheap. So if you mess up a piece, you know, it's no problem. Uh, that, uh, that metal sheeting is on top of uh, some, some very small birch plywood that I've, I've done the whole thing, wrapped the whole thing in and insulated it, and then put the, the metal on it. It works real well. It's very insulated. And uh, ain't never had no problems getting cold in there. And at the end of the summertime, I got an AC that I put in the back here for if we're in a campground. But otherwise, we just use the windows open with a fan, and we ain't had no problems yet, so we really enjoy it. I just thought everybody might like to get a look at it. I got a lot of little gadgets that I've added to it over the year. It took me took me a month and a half to build it initially because I was on a, on a timeline last year. I wanted to have it built before, before turkey season come in, so I got it built in about a month and a half. Well, in, a, in about three weeks, and then I added some stuff to it over a couple of weekends and got it the way I wanted it. And 
it's been a project all summer. I, uh, I've done a lot to it. I, uh, there's my hot water heater. Over the fire, I built that, uh, whatever you call that thing that goes over the fire. Built me a forge and forged my own stuff, and it works out real nice. I've always got hot water. Hang my cast iron there. In fact, we're cooking chicken dumplings tonight, so I'll have to post some pictures of that, too. But that's it. That is my, what I call a, my teardrop camper. It's completely self-contained. I can camp for, as long as I have a water source close by, I can camp for ever how long my food lasts. And as long as I got that gun in there, you know, food's unlimited out here in the woods. If I want to eat squirrels and stuff, so we're in pretty good shape that way. Well, thanks for watching.